Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a blessed Sunday. Um, now, as you can see, right down in the corner, down there, you'll see the new name of my morning program. I think I'm going to keep it that way. Tarot Talk. <laughs> because we just talk, that's all. Well, it's more like I talk, you listen. Sorry. But I will be doing a live stream soon. I do have plans on it. Just don't know exactly when. But that's another story. So tell me what you think of the new name. I don't even know if someone even has it. I just, uh, just came up with it. And it was like, ah, let me try that one for a while. It needed to be called something. So I'm back. And I've been trying to get back sooner. But uh, I've had just appointments during the mornings this week. And things have just not been working out. Then I tried yesterday to go on live. And I taped the whole thing. And the microphone was acting up during it. And... I didn't know how to even go about doing it over again because I'd already drawn and did the readings for the day and I was afraid it would mess it up if I did a redrawing of everything. So I just, I scratched the idea. It was getting too late anyway. So here I am this morning. Let's hope and pray that uh, the microphone incident got fixed. I had uh, did a cleanup of my computer, and I have a feeling it might have reset my uh, StreamYard settings for my microphone. I'm not positive, but I think that's what, what happened. Um, huh. I have these sent out on my desk. Um, no particular reason. Uh, they're my Mahjong cards. And I got these because I thought it was so cool because Danny reads them. Danny of Chasing Bones and Specters, he reads them. And I thought that was so cool. And I thought I want to try to read them myself. And I got them and they are very different from the nice set he has. <laughs> His set has pictures and these are, uh, I don't know. I've showed them to you before. They mostly have like little, just little symbols on them and stuff. And it's in Chinese and I don't read Chinese. So, uh, I don't know. But I have found some places online that uh, helps identify them. So, I might be able to go through and figure out which card means what. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll work on it. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while of studying and learning and all like that. And today I'm going to be showing you after the drawing, or <laughs> the card drawing, that is, the reading. I'm going to show you some of my recent uh, steals and deals, which I think you'll... Uh, you enjoy. Um, yeah, I'll tell you, after that a handprint deal, first couple of days, I was still pretty shook up and uh, didn't want to. I just needed some time. And the, the thing about it was that. Uh, Okay, well, first of all, the handprint looked like blood, which I took as something bad. But I talked to Danny, and he reassured me that uh, it was just a symbol of protection. And I looked it up, and uh, he's right. It is. Which I find a great relief. And uh, really, since the incident, I've just grown more curious about it. 
I went in and did a, a spirit box on it. And I didn't think I caught anything, but I was re-listening to it yesterday somewhat in the background. And I caught some stuff after all. So I'm going to have to go through and see what I did catch. I had the spirit box going in there. And uh, it was taping it. And I had uh, the REM pod also in there. And it was reacting, I believe, to it. And I, I think the thing that really um, shook me up most was the fact that I just, I was not prepared and pumped up for it. Normally, stuff like that, I have to be, well, I've always been, not have to be, but I've always been by experience. It's been going someplace or doing something, and I was pumped up and ready for it. Or else here around the house, I have had a, a there's a little girl spirit, spirit that goes around, and she'll grab on my shirt and tap me on the shoulder and just do minor little things just to let me know she's still around. But she's never left a handprint like that. That was not her handprint. And uh, something else, Albert and I were talking, and uh, my mom has passed away, but um, she she was smaller and had uh, she was kind of overweight and had you know fatter hands, and I I. I just have the impression that was a man's hand, but uh, after that, I got a thing, um, a tarot reading that said that my mom, it just was all about my mom. She was my guardian angel, and she was watching over me and protecting me, and whenever I, I heard that, it was like, oh, maybe that's who it was. I don't understand why the bloody handprint. Um, because she died of uh, pancreatic cancer, but uh, anyway, you all have the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands, the element is fire. The astrological association is Mercury and Sagittarius. The number in numerology is eight. The tree of life position is Hod, the sphere of majesty and the mind. And the key meaning is uh, news or travel. News might be coming your way or a, a trip, maybe. Okay, now... This is one of the most protective cards of the suit. It brings a lot of communication, so you may be inundated with emails, calls, and exciting offers. Oh, have you extended your car warranty? <laughs> if you have felt held back or stuck waiting for decisions, you will soon have positive news. All your projects grow wings. Move swiftly forward. Just be prepared for the shift. Fast, frantic events will energize you, but you also need to prioritize any offers. Don't feel you have to say yes to everything. Choose wisely and enjoy this frantic, exciting influence. In relationship, the Eight of Wands can bring great news about love, particularly if you have been separated from a partner recently or are waiting to hear from a potential partner. You may be traveling sooner to see one another. Okay, the Eight of Batons, as it's also known, especially in this deck, um, as I said before, swiftness and sudden advancement. Um, it also could be impulsive decision-making and maybe uh, love at first sight, which I've kind of covered on already. So that kind of sums it up. It's okay now for today's 
second drawing or reading I should say I will be drawing a uh, rune but ironically this is also my first steal and deal to show you the eye of Horus is on this bag of runes and ironically these are not runes at all can you guess what kind of uh, runes these are let me show you one this one's not the greatest for a giveaway of what uh, I mean, not, not a giveaway, but to tell you what, uh, that's a pretty good one, to tell you what these are. I'll give you a hint, that's a scarab. Oh, and there is, once again, the Eye of Horus. So can you guess what type of uh, runes these are? Pick another one. Ah, this one I have to have to be the giveaway. What's the symbol? And what is that? They're hieroglyphs. These are hieroglyphs. They're Egyptian hieroglyphs. They're Egyptian runes, they call them. But they're not really runes. They're hieroglyphs. But that's just semantics. Anyway, I got these. And I'm going to see how good they are. Now we have this uh, deck saying that things are going to get to moving. So let me draw uh, out a hieroglyph. Oop. Okay, we got the scarab. Now I gotta cast it. Oh, it came up upside down. Okay, so the scarab represents transformation and rebirth. It was believed that the scarab would push the sun across the sky each day. Many pharaohs would have a heart scarab placed on their tomb to guarantee their rebirth. In a reading, the scarab is drawn for telling of new beginnings and hope. It is a lucky rune to draw and will bring good fortune. But because it was upside down, I think it's going to take a little while. So, if this ain't already happening, it might take a little while, but it will be coming. Just it needs time. It will be coming. All right. So, there you have it for today. What do you think of the Egyptian runes? Now, next. And I love this. Well, let me go back to the beginning. On an earlier steal and deal, I showed you this dragon egg. And uh, which turned out to be a half egg. And all it is is you can't see the detail on it very well because it's all black. They didn't paint anything else. It's just an eye. And in the, in the thing, it looked more detailed than this. Of course, things always look better on the, in the pictures. But, uh, yeah, it looked more detailed. So I was disappointed with it. 
and I left a message indicating that I was disappointing. Disappointing. I was disappointing, yes. I was disappointed. And so the girl got upset because she said she'd never had a bad rating before. And she wanted to know what she could do to get me to take that rating down. Well, I said, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, I was just being honest, you know. This was not what I was expecting, and I felt kind of cheated when I got it. Okay, she was like, okay, let's work this out somehow. So I went back and looked through her store page for uh, something that... Uh, I liked and you know and I wanted and I was like okay I'd like to get this it cost more than the egg of course and I ended up paying more but I was like can you give me a discount off this she knocked the entire price I paid for this egg off of this so I really felt like I got a steal on this deal and I it's a new place to put my crystal ball I saw this stand and I fell in love with it and let me show you why first of all it's done with this blue sparkle in it that kind of glows in the dark almost. I think that's beautiful. And then on the side, let me get it in a good, good light. Come on. Well, you can kind of see it's got Egyptian hieroglyphs. And they're on all sides. I guess I'm showing you by the screen light. <laughs> Anyway, I love this, and I just, I ordered it and got it, and now I'm going to leave back raving reviews because, you know, because she was nice enough to do that, and I'm now I'm happy. I'm very happy. I took down the complaint already, and things are all good, and it'll be even better when I leave... Uh, my review on this I didn't do it on purpose and I I don't like giving bad reviews but if something's not to my expectations or if I feel I didn't get my money's worth or feel gypped in any way I'll let them know I'm honest that way so it pays to work with people a little bit of course, I do feel kind of sad for anyone else that might buy those eggs after I took that down. Because now they don't have that little warning. And I got this. And I love it. It is gorgeous. Oops. It is a little hard to pull out, but it's a sword or a dagger, a saber or a dagger, I guess you'd call it, officially, with this blue inlay in it. And I just, and dragons on it, I, I just, uh, let me get it up closer so you can get a fuller shot. I thought that was so pretty. I just loved it. And it was under $10. So I could not, not resist. It's just so pretty. I'm not big on weapon collecting, but I do have a couple swords and stuff. 
um, some cool old old looking swords they're reproductions but they're they look like ancient ones just like this one i, I see like with this one i see a uh, a big a big uh, celtic influence celtic just depends on uh, which way you want to pronounce it but with the the decorating the style looks very celtic or maybe even uh um viking i could see that being viking but that's all i have to show you for today uh let me get this wrapped up so i can get it uh posted so you all will know i'm still alive um uh, course I, I posted that video last night so I, i'm sure you all will know that uh, i'm still out there and i've been out there for a long long time i mean i've been really out there <laughs> oh excuse my sense of humor anyway y'all have an excellent day peace believe because the spirits are out there and uh until i see you uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it tomorrow. There's an appointment that, yeah, okay, tomorrow. I should be back tomorrow. So until tomorrow, bye-bye.